This is Toffel, I'm Yamin, and these are popper decks, but they contain banned cards. But we're gonna play with them anyways. So Toffel and I are facing off without any banned cards in popper, and I brought Infect. Infect gets quite a bit of power out of not having any bands because Gitaxian Probes makes it real easy for me to check whether the coast is clear, and Invigorate is a free spell that gives plus four plus four. Four power. I mean, it's not quite free. My opponent gains three life, but that doesn't matter if they have 10 poison. Today we're playing no banned list popper and that's the first thing that comes to my mind is to play Storm because, well, you basically can play all the banned cards. You play Empty the Warrants and Grape Shop, which are both banned because they're kind of sick with a lot of free spells and of course we pair it with all the free spells on the banned list, which is Gitaxian Probe and Treasure Cruise-ish and Frantic Search and Gush and the One of Days. So yes, basically, Almost our whole deck is from Band List, and I think it's gonna be quite, quite strong. All right, let's go. Let's go. Um, interested and afraid, I have to say. Uh, yeah. Odd or even? Uh, I'll take odd. It was even. <laughs> <laughs> so you have the pleasure of deciding first. This opening hand doesn't have any lands, so I'm gonna mulligan it. My starting hand is kind of difficult. Jamin is Mulligan, so that's a plus, but we basically only have one of the banned cards, which is Gitaxian Probe, and the rest is kind of fair. We do have lands and spells. The problem is also on the draw. The matchup is kind of bad, especially pre-board, because we can't interact with the board. So I'd rather value consistency than going down to six and maybe not getting some of the parts. So this way we have Ponder and we have a Mana Morphose. So if we draw like a Seething Song and one of the Storm spells, we might get some. This hand is certainly better than the last one. However, it still doesn't have a Glistener Elf. It only has one Infect creature. Um, but I don't think I can go to five because as it stands, it's a land or like something small away from a turn three kill. And I don't think I can mulligan towards a Glistener Elf. I'll keep this mm -hmm. and I'll put this one on the bottom. And I'll start off by casting a banned card. <laughs> Taxi Probe. All right, let's see what Stoffel's working with here on turn one. I also could find a Glistener Elf to play. And then... What's your banned cards count in your deck? Do you know? Uh, I don't. No idea. I'll play a forest and I'll pass the turn. I'll draw my eighth card. All right, we're gonna ponder. Choop. And see what it is. All right. I think this one is necessary. And so we're gonna draw it, even though we don't want <laughs> other cards from this. <laughs> I don't know if you remember the cheating video, but this is the Karl Market Slayer. How is this the Karl Market <laughs> I don't know how it made it into the deck. I pinned, it, it, I pinned it to the whiteboard. Is it not on the whiteboard anymore? I don't know. So bad. Okay. Uh, I, I'm gonna have it. Like I'm, not, I'm gonna put it. <laughs> how is it? No. All right. I'm gonna draw this card. God. And it's your turn. I'll draw. It's very funny. I'll play a forest and I'll play a light number. So here's the fun part, right? Because. <laughs> I know I have one dates in the deck. Oh my goodness. It was, it was one of the cards. So this, it would be very funny if the one days would be the card. But no. Uh, yeah. It's... Yeah, that's dazed. Oh, come on. Getting dazed out of a storm deck. And I even saw that he didn't have it last turn with the probe. That feels bad. Go ahead. All right, we'll draw this. And then we are gonna play the island and ponder again. Chuk, chuk, chuk. Yeah, I guess we're gonna keep this as well because it has like those. I mean, yeah. Okay. Draw this. Your turn. I'll untap. I'll draw. I'll play land and I'll pass. Yes! That it's was my hope. Real hope. That was my hope. Okay. Unreal. Very good. We'll ponder again. Oh, that's actually very good. With the Ponder on turn three, I see a Preordain and two Islands, which is kind of one card I want and two cards I don't want. The problem is Ponder doesn't let me decide. I have to take all three or just randomly shuffle. Now what I could do is keep the cards on top, then draw a Preordain, 
bottom both of the islands and then I get a fresh new card which costs me a mana. So the advantage is we have two islands on the bottom of the deck for the whole game which we exclude from all of our draw steps but on the downside is if we shuffle with ponder randomly and find a spell we want to cast right now another ponder or prayer day we don't have the mana. Now both of those advantages and disadvantages are very minor but I think in this case, because we don't really need the mana in this turn, since Jamin doesn't have any creatures, we decide to keep the preordain on top and then use the mana for the preordain bottom of the two islands. Okay, I will put those back like they are. All right. And draw one. And then play a second island and cast a preordain, which makes me bottom two. <laughs> and draw one. And... It's your turn. All right, I'll draw. Let's see if I can be as lucky, but I, I can't draw 12 off. Uh, 11 off, I guess. Should I help you? Go ahead. Should I cut them? <laughs> I mean, to be fair... Ooh. <laughs> I just wanted to say, to be fair, I have nothing going, but uh, that was a lie. Let me start with paying two and Gitexium Propion. That's, that's more than 10. Almost quad rancor. Okay, I will draw a card. I will play my mountain for the turn. And then we will cast a mana force, which doo -doo -doo, will make a red and a blue. I uh, will draw one. So I actually do have a stone count of two. I will cast a treasure cruise using the one blue. Exile seven. Draw three. One, two, three. How lucky do we feel? I mean, <laughs> I will cast a preordain for blue. Mm, scry two. I will put this on the bottom and this on top and draw it. And then I have to go to discard and I will get rid of two islands. So the game plan is simple. I need to draw another infect creature soon. Got it. All right, let's see if I can hit something. I can't. Go ahead. Draw. Now this is going to be the amazing turn. We will start off with a good exit. Go to 16. I drew a ground swell. We're going to tap three and play a seething song, which gives me five red. Then we're going to turn five red into two blue and draw a card. Then we're going to add red and for one and two, we will cast frantic search. Draw two. Discard two islands, untap three. For a blue, I'll cast a this, which leaves... I mean, the only thing that matters is the Rider Flame, so we exile any random seven. One, two, three. Um, we're gonna make another one, which costs one and gives me two. So I it. Wait, it gives you three. Ah, yes. <laughs> so it adds two. Yeah, 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 right. It adds two. It adds two. Uh, so this is at seven. Uh, I will frantic search again, tapping two, which gets me to this and this. Then I have to have to use three, which goes to this. One, two. And this card to lands onto treasure cruise. Uh, how many? What's your life total? Uh, 18. And there's a spell number 9? Yep. Yeah, and then we go. Double grape shot. Yes, well done. Woo! Okay, winning game one makes me very happy because I think sideboarding kind of is in my advantage because now I actually get to interact with the board state. I also figured Jamin would bring Infect and since because of that, Infect would be very strong, I've put Gutshot in my sideboard. So we want all of those and all the Lightning Bolts. Since we're on the draw, we can take out the Days and the Island, which um, it's not good, but we definitely don't want it. And we take out some of the more expensive spells like Seething Songs and the Ponder. We can take out the God because we really don't want to draw two of them and we kind of also don't want to play them except for the turn where we combo so we're going to take out those seven bring out those seven and now we're really happy that we can interact with the creature for sideboarding whether the storm is a nice tool against the storm because well if topple combos off and tries to grape shot me i can gain three times as much life it doesn't guarantee a victory or even survival, but it, it does make it very difficult for Toffle. 
And then Apostle's Blessing is a nice tool to protect my creatures because I assume Toffle will bring in something to deal with my creatures. He can't get lucky with the days every time. To make room for these sideboard cards, I take out two Larger Than Life and two Mutagenic Growth. Larger Than Life because Toffle doesn't have a lot of creatures. If I ever need Trample, I still have Rancor. So I don't want to take out any of the big pump spells because they can be lethal very quickly. But Mutagenic Growth is a mere plus two plus two. So I'm gonna cut those. I'll go first again. Yes, sir. Maybe it works out this time. Let's see. Can I cut it again? Because uh, that worked perfectly. <laughs> can't. This hand doesn't have a creature. I might consider keeping it if it has a weather the storm, mm, but that's still awkward. But this, as it stands, no, this is not keepable. I'm gonna go to six. My game two hand is very good. I mean, it's not perfect, perfect, but it has everything we want. We have lands, we have spells, we have interaction. We even have a lightning bolt that we can interact with on turn two or three. We have a grape shot that we can just fire off to kill something. I'm very happy. Once again, not a perfect hand, but I think I have to keep it on six. Not having a Glistener Elf sucks, but I do have free protection spells if Toffle tries to deal with my creatures with damage. I, if I draw a third land, I'm gonna bottom one of the lands, uh, I can also play the third land and keep up Apostle's Blessing, either to protect the creature or to push through damage if ever there's you know, a blocker or something. Let's see. I'll put one down and I'll start out with the forest. Here we go. Draw. All right, already on the turn one on game two, we have a decision. Do we want to play a mountain and then have a lightning bolt open for one of Clement's creatures, which we kill in time? Or do we want to play an island and use one of the two one mana spells to make our draw steps better? And I think because Draymond didn't play anything, we can still use the time winner to kill something next turn. And right now we want to fix. All right, I will play an island and cast a Pumba. All right. We will look at three cards. I think <laughs> that's awkward. Now that we've casted the Panda, we see three islands and we kind of want to have lands because we have the empty avoidance in our hand. That means we want to get up to four, but drawing three of them is kind of iffy. So we kind of have to fire off the preordain after that anyway to bottom at least one of those islands, which makes one of the scries worse because we already know we're gonna bottom the scry. So the question is now, do we want to reshuffle with the ponder? And I think the answer is yes, because the preordain already gives us some security to finding lands after. We get a free draw step from the ponder, we get a draw from the draw step, and then once we cast Preordain, we also get to see at least two looks, maybe three, two lands. So I think we rather want to have card density first and then decide what we want with the Preordain later. I think I will go to shuffle. Mm. Then go back, we'll shuffle and draw for ponder. And it's your turn. Right, I will take my draw. As I didn't draw a third land, I need to play this mirror on turn two. I, I can't just be afraid of that days just because of the last game. And also I would need a third land. Giving the storm deck more time sounds like a bad idea to me. I'll play a forest and topple. You know what? I'm not playing around a one of. I'll cast a Nicker Claw mirror. There we go. Go ahead. Tap, draw, ironic. I'll play mountain and bolt the mirror. I'll invigorate the mirror. Yes. That resolves. All right. Uh, I'd like to hear that. Then I will cast a Priority. Yep. Mm. Yeah, we're definitely gonna not accept those. And draw. And it's your turn. All right, I'll untap. I'll draw. Well, uh, let's go to combat. No effects. No effects. I uh, get a poison. One poison. Yep. I'll have to just pass the turn. Smart. I'm not gonna play a second creature here because tapping out means I'm very vulnerable to grape shot because then one grape shot can just clear the board. Instead, I'm just passing the turn as it is. I'll draw. Sure. Uh, we'll play an island and pass the turn. Sure, this is very innocent magic. I can, I can tell. I guess I'll attack for one again. I'm not blocking. All right, no effect. Two poison. Two poison. I'll play a forest and then I'll cast a Blight Mamba. Mm -hmm. Could I interest you in that? Um, no, but you just drew this, right? Because you yeah. didn't have a last. Go. Uh, we'll draw again. This is fascinating. Okay, um, we're gonna play a furnace. Sure. Draw two. One, two, and discard two. 
and untap through. Then I would like to cast a gunshot for two of my life totals, which gets me to me one, and I would yep. like to target the mamba. Yes, I guess the mamba just dies. And then I will play my fourth land and make it empty for me. Yeah. That gives me six goblins! Six goblins for you. Go ahead. All right, I'll untap. I'd, I'd take a Rancor right now. If if I could, I, I would just, you know, I wouldn't mind one. Did you draw one? I didn't. Mm. Did you try hard enough? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, I'll swing. I will decide to block with <laughs> this goblin. All right. And it does. It's gone. I'll just play a second mirror. I'll pass the turn. Okay, untap, draw. Okay, so here's my thought, right? My best draw is Treasure Cruise. Yeah. I didn't draw a Treasure Cruise. Oh, I thought you had one in hand, the way you played, but... No. Uh, my best draw is Gitaxian Probe into Treasure. Mm, yeah. So I go to 19. Uh, yeah, here's what I'm working with. What? A lot of spells that save your creatures? All right, I will draw a card. No treasure. Life is unfair. <laughs> Life is so unfair. Okay, uh, with all of this in mind, I will cast a Preordain. Uh, storm count is two, in case that matters. It will. Hmm. Um, scry, scry. I will keep up. All right, kind of scary. Um, I will play an island and add the storm count to three, making two red. I will use one of the red and the blue. I will cast a grape shot for four. I will one, one, and you as well for two. All right. Um, I'll pay to life and save the untapped one. And I will use one right to bolt. All right. Yeah. Uh, go to sixteen. I'd like to give it pro red. And for my last act. No, <laughs> that's that's three bolts and a great uh, gut shot. Yeah, I needed all of those. No, actually two bolts, but a grape shot as well. Yes, it dies. Jamin, yeah. I've noticed you don't have any creatures in here. <laughs> so I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna put this one back into my hand. It's secret now. Okay. I'll untap. Yes. I, I didn't expect this. I expected to funnily pass the turn back. I, I can cast a creature. Not worried? Go ahead. Not worried at all. You have one card which gives plus four, plus four. Uh, yes. It's called Vines of Vastwood. Right. Um, let's cast it. <laughs> I'll show it to you again. Show me! Uh, no, it doesn't even cost life. Oh. Actually, you know what? Let's pay life. <laughs> I go to 70. And I draw. That was not very helpful, so we are gonna attack with four because technically we could die. So I don't like dying. You go to seven. I do. Go ahead. I will untap. And I'll take my draw. Larger than life is a crazy good draw. So I can either push through five damage this turn and hope for another trample spell, but I don't think that's the correct play. Instead, I'm gonna wait I'm gonna hope I draw a forest, and then I can have a 9-9 Glistener Elf with Trample, which hopefully should be enough next turn. All right, uh, and I'll pass the turn. No tax? No tax. <laughs> I, I won't trade my any of my cards for Goblin tokens. Okay, I like this. Draw. Well, we're gonna attack with four Goblins. You go down to three. Down to three. I think, and I really don't do this often, Jamin, but I'm gonna have to use my one time here. <laughs> I don't know how we do it, it's, uh, it's the one time note. Uh, so this is like, you just draw. This is what I draw? Yeah. The, the one time don't draw anything. Go ahead. All right. I mean, there is, there are a bunch of good draws. Wait, could I die? I mean, this is all assuming you have nothing, right? Oh, I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally have nothing. I mean, you know about the vines? Yeah. And then larger than life is plus four plus four and trample? Yes. So that would be nine if I can kick the vines. Nine trample and you're on two poison minus one. Which is exactly get eight. Yep. Um, so I need a forest. Okay. This is this is not a forest, I'm not kidding. Yeah, uh, you drew this. <laughs> Don't do it. One time. Hey! Woo! 
Oh. Does that wait? Can I block? No, I'm on some <laughs> good game. <laughs> Pavel, that was. How many removal spells do you play in your storm deck? Do you want to lightning bolt me to death? I kind of figured you would bring in Frick, so I put Gatron in my <laughs> Because, okay, let's be honest, somebody tells you it's no bandless popper, right? Yeah. Your mind goes to Infect, right? Yeah, kind of, I mean, my yeah. mind went to Infect. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it's like, you know, I don't need all those Hydro Blasts and stuff. And you, you brought Storm into Infect? Yeah. And I then, mean, that, that was already challenging, so I thought, okay, my, my main deck doesn't look good at all, so I put Lightning Wolves and Gut Shots, and it worked! It, it did. It worked. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, if you enjoyed this kind of content, please let us know, because the comment section and likes and subscribers are the main way we can tell that a video resonates, right? This is your feedback to us, and I promise, we read the comments, we respond to many of them. So this is your way of helping us shape the future of this channel. Also, don't forget, you have to send this video to seven other friends or oh, you get bad luck. But, <laughs> I mean, if you tell it from the person finding their one of days, <laughs> I always, I always send card market videos to seven other friends. And you see how that helps? If you don't want to be German, send it to seven other friends. <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, both of us will see you in the next video.